I'm going to create a sample table right now. Hit get data from file and I'm going to choose from folder. I'm not going to build a complicated query this time because the point is now to show you how you can auto create query tables. So I'm choosing a folder. I hit open, it includes images, I hit transform data, and I just simply transform the data a little bit, I hit choose columns, I'm going to remove the content, attributes, date fields, and hit OK. Once I'm done, I hit close, close and load to, hit only create connection, then choose existing worksheet, and I'm going to select the A1, hit OK, done. I created a query for me. And now let's see how you can automatically create it. I simply go back to the editor, right click, edit, view tab, advanced editor. I'm going to copy the entire M code, which was created by the power query. I hit done. I close the editor and I can remove my table and also delete the query. Done. Once it's done, I go to the developer tab. I hit record macro and I'm going to name it as test run. Then I hit OK. I go back to the data tab, hit get data, launch power query editor. On the query pane, I simply just right click, I choose new query, I choose other sources and I'm going to create a blank new query. And the only thing I need to do is go to the view tab, hit advanced editor, select the initial code and paste the previously created M code. Then hit done. Go back to the home tab, close, close and load to, table, existing worksheet, A1, hit OK and it's done. Then I go back to the developer tab and I stop recording. And now the Excel recorded all the steps needed to auto generate my query table. Let me show you. I delete the table. I also remove the query, hit delete. And since I have that macro saved in my file, I simply hit Alt F8. The macro is there and I hit run. And here we go. I auto generated the query table. If I hit Alt F11, I go to the modules and I select it, I can check how the Visual Basic code looks like. It's very simple. And if you're familiar just a little bit with the Visual Basic code, this technique will allow you to build awesome things in Excel. And it's a very good way to save and automate any query table or complicated data models in Excel. Let me know in the comment, how does it work for you?